In this video, we are going to discuss about how to create a database using SQL, MySQL Workbench software and create tables using customized databases and how to create a relationship between tables in a database and how to represent one of the tables in an opportunistic database with a many-to-many -many relationship. So first of all, we will see the requirement and start the create the database. So here the requirement is you have given the institute to develop the school system of Kegalo Maha, well, ma, sorry, Kegalo Maha Vidyalaya. Your part in this software is to create a database. With this software, you can easily manage all student information, all teacher information, class settings. Use Kegalo Vidyalaya DB as the database name and this must be in an ER diagram. So we will close the previous ER diagram and create a new ER diagram. So here file file new model new model here I need to rename the model into Kagalu Mahavidyalaya that means Kagalu Vidyalaya DB and rename the and add the ER diagram with the relevant tables. I think I need four tables as mentioned so we will create four tables and edit one by one. Table number one. We'll see what is in the table one student. Here we need to create a table to store student information and their guardian information. So we will create the table student and index no vacha link 10. Length must be 10 uh, and it, I will make it as a primary key to avoid data duplication. And here, first name, no? First name. And then the last name. Gender here, gender must be there with length ten and next contact no address. Contact no with character length ten. Next the address character length sixty. Character length 60. So the student table has been created with index number, first name, last name, gender, contact, no address. Likewise, we will create the rest of the tables. Here, the guardian table has been created with the columns guardian ID, first name, last name, gender, and contact, no as mentioned. Here, the guardian ID, first name, last name, gender, contact, no. 
and we will move uh, now we will move on to the requirement 3 name the relationship between the two tables student and guardian that you set up above mark it in the er diagram you created now we will see the relationship between this I think wait okay I, okay I fixed the error now okay wait there is a small mistake now uh, okay guardian ID okay now okay now we will see the relationship between the student and the guardian. A student only can have one guardian, but a guardian can be can have many students under him. Like now in uh, within a family, same two students go to the school with the same guardian. Then guardian can have many students. But only student student only can have one guardian, so one to many. So we will select the many side student first. We will create the non identifying relationship, non identifying one to many relationship, and select the many side and one side. Now the one to many relationship between the student and the guardian has been created. Now we will move on to the next tables. A teacher teaches several subjects and one subject teacher one subject teaches several teachers. A teacher teaches several subjects. And one te subject teaches several teachers. Creator there's a problem with the question required. Creator teacher and subject table using the appropriate relationship. So we must create this teacher and subject table with the appropriate relationship that means it will become a many to many subject uh, relationship uh, teacher can teacher subject that means it's a one to one relationship there also there can be a situation like this a subject can be taught by many teachers also so there also will be a one to one many relationship so naturally it becomes a many to many relationship so we will create the table first. With the columns. The teacher and the subject table has been created with the relevant columns. Here I must a special mention the this golden key represents a primary key and with this like this brown di diamond replaces a foreign key. So I mentioned it specially so I have I will not repeat it again and again so to avoid the repetition only I mentioned it. So why we will see the relationship as I mentioned it's in many to many relationship because a teacher can see, uh, teach many subjects as well as a subject can be taught by many teachers. So I will select this one many to many identifying relationship okay the relationship has been created that's all for this video thank you have a nice day